Hi there, my name's Paulie and welcome to this video. I guess you could call this video part one of my DIY octave down pedal build. And at this stage I don't have a schematic. I just have a block diagram that kind of describes what happens to the signal as, as it gets processed through each section. Uh, not only are we going to be able to do one octave down, we're actually going to be able to do a second octave lower than that, I'm hoping. We'll see how it goes. Uh, this circuit basically will use things like op amps, uh, like the 741 style op amps, JRC 4558s, things like that. And the other, the other uh, circuit or integrated circuit that we'll use will be uh, NE555, just a triple five timer. Uh, so let's get to this block diagram because that's all I have to go off so far. So we have our input and we throw, feed it through a buffer like a 741 and we're going to split the signal into two and one will go straight to our mixer section at the end and to the output. Then it, where it branches off, it's going to be halfway rectified. Now I'm actually going to use an op amp to um, help me rectify this so that uh, I can rectify a very small signal. Where normally if you use diodes, you'll need half a volt before the uh, diode will actually start working. Well, about half a volt, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, somewhere around that. So once it's halfway rectified, it'll look like this, whereas when we fed it in, it looks like a sine wave. It'll now look like a hump with a space, and then another hump and a space. We're going to use that signal to trigger this bistable flip-flop, which is going to be made out of a triple five timer. So with each hump, it'll go positive one way, and then the next hump, it'll go negative and we'll end up with a square wave signal like this that will be twice the period of this one which means it'll be half the frequency which means an octave down so we'll split that into two as well and one will go to the mixer and the other one will go back and repeat that the whole process again that we've done here with the original signal so we'll halfway rectify it so we'll only end up with positive humps with spaces. Then we'll feed it through the bistable flip-flop and we'll end up with a square wave that is twice the period of our previous uh, square wave signal. Then we'll feed that into the mixer and, and then the output. Now I've considered uh, somewhere around the out, these two outputs from the flip-flop actually adding small capacitors to ground just to create a filter network to try and roll some of these edges off to try and make it sound a little bit more natural I'm not sure at this stage whether I'm going to do that and uh, we're just going to see how it pans out but that's basically how you can make an octave down circuit so if you're interested in what I'm doing in this video and uh, you'd like to see how it pans out, don't hesitate to subscribe. And if you like what I'm doing, give me a thumbs up. Uh, I do new videos all the time. Anyway, I'll uh, catch you later. Have fun.